future researchers. Good day and good morning to all of you. This is me again, Teacher Ting May, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. We are now on our week 5, module 5 in research 2, and for today's lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about research problem. What are the sources of a good research problem? What are the characteristics of a good research problem? Criteria. Di ba kapag gumagawa tayo ng isang research study, ang kauna-unahan natin na kailangan gawin ay isipin mabuti kung ano ba ang gusto nating i-investigate. Ano ba ang gusto nating pag-aralan. Let us define first research problem. So what is a research problem? When we say a research problem, it is a suggestion of any topic of interest, a situation that needs to be changed, it can also be a question that needs answer, or it's a problematic topic that occurs in a scientific literature, in a theory, or in action that points uh, to the need for a deeper understanding and deliberate study. So again, what is a research problem? A research problem is a topic that you want to discuss, investigate, or study, whether it is a descriptive or experimental. Defining a research problem is the fuel that drives science process. It is the basis of every research problem. Iba kapag gumagawa tayo, syempre ang kailangan natin gawin ay yung bagay kung saan interesado tayo. Kaya pag sinabi natin research problem in doing a science investigatory project, Research problem refers to the subject of your interest. It can be a trend or a problem that somewhat you are uh, familiar with. A research problem is the principal guiding concept that drives the paper study. The topic under review gives us an opportunity to publish and a concentration that determines what we want to say. It represents the central subject of scholarly communication and how we meet other topics of discussion and the exploration of new understanding and knowledge. Kapag gumagawa tayo ng science investigatory project, syempre we are referring to the experimental research. Okay, and in experimental research, we have four categories. There are four research categories and they are life science, we also have applied science, robotics, and innovation. So, ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng apat na to? Okay, first, pag-usapan natin, what is life science? So, pag sinabi natin life science, it is a research area where they focus on science fields that include the scientific study of living organisms, such as plants, can be animals, and humans. However, the study of organism behavior is included only if it has a distinctly uh, biological dimensions of it. So, kalimitan ang mga research study under ng life sciences is yung mga related sa, for example, agriculture, uh, fisheries, food and biology, or it can also be biochemistry and biotechnology, whether in ecology, evolution, and environment. It can also be genetics and heredity, at marami pang iba. Example, Antibacterial activity of Catmon, Dilenia filipinensis rolfe against Streptococcus pyogenes. Another example, hypoglycemic effect of Serpentina Andrographis paniculata leaves as a supplemental tea for type 2 diabetes. Number two, we have applied science. When we say applied science, this is the study of applications of scientific knowledge for technological advancement. Ibig sabihin, okay, yung mga nalalaman natin tungo sa science, yung mga science concepts, pwede natin siyang gamitin para makapaggawa tayo ng isang product or project na may kinalaman sa advancement ng technology. Okay, example. Example, kamantige extract as fluorescent tracer. Another example, rambutan peel dye as sensitized solar cell. Another example, the use of algal polysaccharides alginates as biosorbent from aragon seaweeds in the reduction of heavy metal ions in fish ponds. Number three, we also have robotics. 
Okay, ano yung robotic? So, from the word itself, robot, so gumagamit tayo dito ng mga mechanical robots. When we say robotics, this is the interdisciplinary science and engineering field dedicated to building, designing, and using mechanical robots. For example, Example, fighter, fire extinguishing intelligent, governing, heat sensing, two-way mode, evading obstacle robot. And another one, abatach garbin, Arduino-based automated touchless garbage bin. Ayan, yan yung mga example ng mga uh, science investigatory project that is under the robotics category. Okay, next, nakakita na ba kayo ng mga drone o kaya yung mga bracelet na sinusuot? and then pwede nang mag-text o kaya nai-connect siya sa cellphone. Those are examples of research under the fourth category, which is innovation. Okay, what do you mean by innovation? Pag sinabi natin innovation, this is a category of a research problem which is more concerned with an inventive new product or service than with an incremental one. What does it mean? It means expanding a line or upgrading an existing one. Ibig sabihin, meron na talaga nung bagay na yun pero ang nangyari, nagkaroon lang ng pag upgrade mas lalong pinaganda. This is replacing something that already exists with something entirely new. Example, unmanned aircraft or UAVs, also known as drones, that are becoming popular not only as toys but also for commercial purposes. Another one is a piece of wearable technology created by Crochet, a French company. This bracelet projects the image one would usually communicate on the user's arm with on a laptop or smartphone. Next, let us talk about the different sources of a good research problem. So, paano ba tayo magkakam up sa mga research problem na kailangan nating investigate, i-discuss, at pag-aralan? Okay, there are six resources of a good research problem. Number one, we have problems met. Bakit problems met? Maaari na tumingin tayo sa ating paligid. Ano ba ang problema kinakaharap ng ating bansa, ng ating mundo? So, sa pamamagitan ng pag-iisip ng mga problema ang nakikita natin sa paligid, we can come up with a good research problem. So, for example, problema sa basura, problema sa pollution, problema sa virus na kinakaharap natin, which is the COVID-19. Uh, it can be a source of a good research problem. Next, number two, we also have... Kaya nga, di ba, the reason why one of the characteristics of a good research is it's because a research starts with a problem and then it ends with another problem. That's why other researches is also one of the resources of a good research problem. Punta ka lang sa mga library at magbasa ka ng mga dating research, mga previous research, pwede kang magkaroon ng idea ano kaya ang pwede kong gawin. Pwede kasi yung maisip natin ay related din sa mga nabasa nating mga researches. Okay, number three, Creative ideas. Siyempre, dyan tayo magaling. Lahat tayo naman ay merong creative minds. So, pwede rin siya maging source ng good research problem. Number four, we have also the research journals and articles. Number five, we have thesis and dissertations. And number six, we also have the specialization. This is the end of our discussion about research problem. I hope you learned something from me. Again, this is Teacher Dean May. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates and research. See you on our next vlog. Bye!